what can go wrong uh, with the purchase of a new chromatic harmonica. And while I'm holding a swan, I don't want you to get the impression I don't think they're good from factory. I think actually they are, but I had to hold something. Well, I'm just going to list some stuff that, that can be uh, a problem. I would say that tuning problems are pretty rare. Um, I have the gear to test, um, you know, how well they're tuned, and it's very rare that I'll have uh, an instrument with a, a tuning problem that's outside of a range of acceptable error. I have had a couple new harps that came in with reeds that were improperly tuned, but I'll fix those. So that's one thing that I see. I did see one instrument, not a swan, that knew from factory had a misshapen underside of a mouthpiece that meant that it leaked air on the right side and required uh, filing to repair. That took quite a while. Not a simple repair. So you can actually have misshapen parts, but that's very rare. Very rare. I think one of the more common things that, uh, you know, I see that I think means something is that reeds will have what I call a ghost buzz. A ghost buzz is when you play a reed but you're getting another secondary tone, which is pretty predominant on top of the note that's supposed to be being played. It's typically caused by a reed just a little bit too close to the edge of a reed plate. It could be on the sides of the reed slot or the end, but usually on the sides, and it just creates a secondary harmonic. That <clears throat> is rather difficult to fix and requires actually um, filing the side of the reed a little bit. You, you find them by taking the harp apart and having a light, and then you, you hold that reed plate in front of the light and push the reed in and out of the slot, and you'll see where it's hitting. Those can be repaired. I, I see that occasionally. Almost... Without exception, the students and others who, even professional players who reach out to me and say, well, you know, this read on the third hole of a 16 hole or just doesn't work on the draw, the A, for instance, and almost always those are player technique. And that's got to be a tough situation for the manufacturers because they're constantly getting reports of complaints about... Uh, the low notes not playing, when in fact the players just need a little bit more training on how to play those low notes. So uh, I don't see a situation where the um, low notes are, you know, unplayable at all. I, I've, I've had harp shipped to me that a professional was absolutely sure there was a problem with it. Tested out, perfect. I played it without any problem. Uh, occasionally you'll get a harp uh, from Asia with a, a slight dent in the cover. I don't consider that the end of the world. Uh, you can either fix them or leave them. You know. I, I have not seen a problem in the fitting of the reed plate to the comb. That I have not seen. I have occasionally seen slides that needed to be polished a little bit more. That you'll see. By far, the most important problem that I see on a consistent basis is manufacturers and selling harps that are not airtight. Typically caused by the top of the ABS comb not being truly sanded flat. And I have videos you can watch on how to fix that. 
But a heart that's not airtight is going to be cumbersome in play, uh, a tone that's not so good, and it, very difficult to do things like uh, vibrato under control and bends. And uh, will require more energy to play and therefore tiring. And I see that, I would say, of all the problems out there, the lack of airtightness um, of harps is, is the one that's most constant. Most of the models actually that come to me are not airtight. So that's something that I see out of 70% of the instruments. What do the top players in the world do about that problem? Either the factory gives them an airtight heart by having someone work on it there, or they do it themselves as a general rule. A few play stock instruments that leak, not very many. So they don't have that problem as a rule, or they have a skill to overcome it. Um, you can go to a Facebook group called uh, Chromatic Harmonica Repair and Chromatic Harmonica Customization. Those are a couple ones I set up and I've got, you know, videos posted there. You can go to YouTube and type in customization of, let's say, a swan or something and see all of these repairs and what to do. Even, even the one about the ghost buzz. So I have a lot of those out there. But anyway, um, I think it's kind of astounding, by the way, that swan is as good as it is from factory for the price that they charge. It is true you're not going to get parts forget the service, but what you get for your dollars, pretty darn good, and they can be customized and brought forward a long way. Uh, Sidels usually come through in very good shape, and I think the Pisardo instruments at this point are very, very good. And uh, So anyway, that's just what you see uh, in the way of problems with, with harmonicas.